Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Artsy Gals. Yay! <laughs> and that sound you hear right now probably is me opening a zot. I'm going to eat apple zots while I'm talking to you today. I thought about it, but I don't think I would be able to. I don't know. I might have to spit it out. I'm going <laughs> to save my wrapper right here so that if I'm all zotting up in people's faces too much, you can tell me. I like to put it... Oh, my wrapper blew away. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I like to put it, like, in my cheek. Oh, like, it feels chew weird. Like, chewy Yep. Yeah. Oh. My wrapper is blowing. I know where I'll put my wrapper. <laughs> Lonnie gave me the most awesome fan ever. It's blowing my Zot wrapper all around. I'm going to put it in my boobies. Yeah, that's. A, there we go. Just yeah. like a little old lady. Yeah. We'll store stuff up in the titties. <clears throat> I keep my phone in there sometimes. Then my kid lectures me. You're not supposed to keep your phone in your bra, mom. What do I'm they sorry, know? I know. Damn kids. <laughs> they don't know stuff. No. So, yeah, we're here. Yay! We're awesome. We are. We rock. Yeah. We're going to talk about some stuff. I feel like I've hit a wall in this awful, dreadful month that we've had. It's been, yeah, apocalyptic, kind of. Apocalyptic heat and fires. Yeah. So, like, Oregon and Washington are just pretty much all on fire right now. Yeah. It's awful. and, And you know what's really sad? I feel like this is not the worst of it Mm -mm. because it's so fucking dry and we have no fucking rain. I saw something where they think they're going to be fighting fires until November. Oh my God. This is terrible. It's bad. The fires are huge. Yes. And Saturday, Saturday was the the bad day, wasn't it? The smoky day. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Saturday, the wind shifted. So there's some huge ass fires in Washington right now. Mm -hmm. It's very awful. Three firefighters have died. Two were injured. Rips my heart out. My grandpa was fire chief my entire life from the little town we grew in. My dad was fire chief. My uncles were all in the fire department. So I got a little verklempt. I have a special spot. Yeah. But also, those guys are out there trying to save our forest. It's a hard job. It's awful. People do not throw your fucking lit cigarettes out the goddamn window. Yeah. If you have a flat tire, pull the fuck over. Don't drive. Because that's what started one of them was sparks from someone's flat tire. Like they were driving on their rim. It's so dry that that started the fucking fire. Oh, my God. Like, just don't do anything. Yeah. Don't do anything hot. And then the city of Portland had fireworks that night. What the fuck? (laughs) I know. But it was so smoky. Like, seriously, it was so smoky. In Portland, because this of this wind shift. It was horrible. It was awful. Like, visibility was down to, like, three miles or something like that. Yeah. Which isn't that much. And, like, I went outside to take the compost out, and I could see the smoke on the street, like, at yeah. ground level. Yeah. It, it was awful. I have asthma, so I was, like, fucking making love to my inhaler all day. And then there was a point in the day that I'm like, why am I trying to breathe more? Because I'm just breathing more fucking smoke. Like, it was yeah, awful. It was. It was terrible. And even I I had had a dress on. Just, I have a couple like this dress. I have a couple of sundresses that I just wear around the house. And I had that on Saturday. And I took it off and put my pajamas on and hung it up or something like that when I went to bed. And so the next Sunday when I got up, I, I just got dressed again and put that same sundress on. And I'm like, why the fuck does this, have I, did I wear this camping I never wear sundresses camping. Why is it so smoky? And it took me like five minutes of wondering why I smelled like smoke to realize that the smoke was that bad in Portland that my clothing smelled like smoke. Now I want to sniff my clothes from Saturday. (laughs) I was out in it because we, Carla had a a dancing gig at Oaks Park Mm. on that day. So we spent all day out Mm. in the smoke at Oaks Park. 
I with closed a bunch of other my, people. I, I was closed surprised. all my doors and windows and stayed the fuck inside. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But there was a lot of people there, so I was like, okay, I guess this is okay. All right, that's um, what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I used to smoke cigarettes, so I should be it's immune to this. No. Right? Yeah. No. It was weird. It so, looked yeah. weird. Yeah. We are surrounded by fire and uh, <laughs> periodically covered in smoke right now, and... Last week was a busy week. I didn't get the blog post up. I still haven't got the blog post up for last week's episode. As we're recording this, I'll have it up before this episode goes up. I don't. I, I, had I my, totally understand. Well, I was planning, I totally I was planning my son's surprise birthday party all yeah, week. And it was, yeah. I was, it was coming down to, like, the party was on Thursday. So that's the day that the episode goes up. So I just, like, edited and put it up really quick. And I was running around the house trying to do shit. And oh, man. So I got it done. But... Well, I appreciate everything you do for Aww, the podcast. Thank you. thank you for doing that. But it's been nuts. So I'm making yeah. excuses for not having. No, you're not. Not being I totally prepared. Get it. I'm God. not prepared. Lonnie and I are winging it again today. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, whatever. We're going to talk about some stuff, but we're going to eat zots and make it up as we go along. Because <laughs> it's fucking August and we're yeah. done with summer. Yeah. Totally done. I'm so over it now. Okay. Right getting the school year anxiety going dude portland public schools started this week <laughs> yeah they did that is fucked up portland yeah. public schools if you are if you listen to this podcast and you are like in any way like a decision maker you suck dong <laughs> yeah like, i mean I'm why glad we haven't start started the yet. last week of summer and then have labor day off and then yeah go back something about a week budget school year well, and we i didn't know. even have we had no snow days last year it's not like they're making up snow days yeah. or anything Ooh, if the farmer's almanac is right we might have some this year i'm hoping that we have a wet summer i don't know i'm hearing conf- or, i mean a wet winter i'm hearing conflicting i need some fucking storms man yeah my coastal girl heart is shriveling up in oh. this heat <laughs> like i need wind and i need rain and i need like torrential downpours and like the kind of wind that shakes your house. Yeah. Anyone who grew up on the coast knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. Any coast anywhere. I love that's wind. That's the shit. But we have a lot of trees around us now, so it makes me a little more nervous than it used mm-hmm. to. But I I love it. I like... Mm-hmm. When I was a yeah. little girl, we had these two trees that rubbed together when the wind blew outside of uh, my house. But they made this noise that freaked my mom out because it sounded like they were calling her name when they rubbed together. It would go, choo. <laughs> she was so glad when one of them finally blew over. <laughs> oh man! Because they weren't on our property, ah, so, so we couldn't yeah. like go cut them down. But it was hilarious. <laughs> it would freak her out. She'd be like, "It just wakes me up in the middle of the night. It terrifies me." Oh. But yeah. So you know what's great on a scary stormy night? What a cool light. Yes, good lighting. Provided that the power doesn't go out, or right. a cool lantern that can be lit by candle. Yes. Oh, I like that segue. It was that good. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. We're talking about lighting today, like making your own lights and shit. Mm-hmm. Because, well, mostly because I just made a really badass light for my son for his birthday. Yes. It turned out so good. And then, I hope this doesn't turn into a thing, but last year for my brother's 40th birthday, I think I probably talked about that lamp or, do you remember I, if I did? I don't remember, but it's so freaking cool. I made him an, an alien lamp. It's awesome. Because he, my brother is like totally into fucking ancient aliens and like all this crazy shit. Like, dude, if you want to get my brother on a rant ever, just ask him about aliens. Yeah. He will talk for fucking hours. (laughs) Completely sober, he'll talk for hours about aliens and his theories about like, the dude is serious. Yeah. So we had an alien themed birthday party for him and we had, I made him. An alien lamp that I got the instructions for off Instructables because there's an Australian company that makes this alien lamp. Okay. It's badass. It's like, it's a spaceship abducting a cow. It's really cool, but an Australian company makes it. You cannot get them in the U.S. yet. And they're like 200 and something dollars. Ugh. I love my brother a lot, but I'm not spending $200 on him for his (laughs) birthday. Yeah. So he can suck it. But... (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. <clears throat> I found instructions on how to make it on Instructables, and I actually subscribe to Instructables 
like a once a year thing. Mm-hmm. Seriously, people go to Instructables and subscribe. It's cheap. It's like twenty dollars for the year. Oh wow! But they have so much fucking cool shit on there. Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take my zod out. Actually, I'm just gonna crunch it up real quick. Mm, the fizziness. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was only for Lonnie's benefit. That was pretty cool. I did the Pee Wee Herman mad dog and thing. Pa- and I have green foam coming out of my yeah, mouth. Yeah. Woo. So, what I did was, you know, the pan liners for, uh, or the liners for your, under your burners, the burner pan yeah, thingies. Yeah. Go buy two of those. Okay. You have to get the deep ones. I tried to get the ones at the dollar store. They didn't work because they were too shallow. So I went up here to our little hardware store. We have like an Ace hardware. Yeah, yeah. And so we went up there and I got two of those. So those make the spaceship. You put them together. Fucking perfect. Dude, it totally. And then there's a yeah. hole in the back Uh huh. for your light to go in. Yes. And I'll get to the light in a moment because I have some strong feelings about this. But then you buy two more pans. So you need, well, actually, you just need one extra one. So... You, what you do is you trace it, and so you're making a little thing to hook the light to, so it can go in and out, and it holds itself in, and okay. it fills the hole. So, and you you can find these instructions on Instructable, and I'll link them, because this was the fucking coolest lamp ever. Yes. Didn't it have something clear on top, too? It did, because I put my own little Katie twist on some shit. Yeah. So, there's a hole in the top where the light comes through. Mm-hmm. So, I ordered... Remember those little green, clear plastic aliens that you used to get out of, the, like, coin machines, like, in the grocery store? Yeah. My kid had pockets full of the fucking things. They're yeah. translucent green aliens. I ordered a bunch of those. I found them on Amazon for super cheap. And then what you also need, though, back to your supplies, and in addition to aliens and these little drip pans, is you need a clear glass bowl. And you're going to have to size it out. It needs to be able to sit on top of the pan the top drip pan to make like the bubble yeah, over yeah. the top. So you need to put that on top and it's just a clear glass bowl. And you, you take, like I went into the dollar store with my drip pan and my aliens. Perfect. And like just tried shit out, out yeah. to make sure that it was deep enough. And you don't want it to have like, like you don't want it to have patterns or anything etched in it. You want it to just be smooth. Mm-hmm. So you get that for your top, the bubble for the top. And then you need a clear pint glass. Just a, no writing on it, no etching, no anything, no bumps, no texture. It needs to be clear because what the pint glass is, and this is special. It is. It's the beam that the cow is being sucked up into. Yes. And it's also the base for the lamp. You also need, I just went to um, Michael's, I think, how they have the unfinished wood, like you can get plaques and stuff like that. Yeah. They just have the little unfinished wood base that's been through a router. Okay. I just went and yeah. bought one. I bought the little felt stickies that, you know, so it doesn't scratch up the table. Ouch, my eye itches all of a sudden. And then I bought, I just spray painted it flat black and put the little felt stickies on the bottom. And then I went to, what is the, uh, Home Depot? Mm-hmm. Home Depot. Did you know that they sell like fucking AstroTurf by the yard? No, but that's cool. Like you can get the cheap shit, which I did. Yeah. I got, I still have some of it. Well, if you ever needed some of it, I have some. (laughs) I think I got like a quarter of a yard or something like that. It's really wide, but I just cut a circle of that out. So I'm going to build this lamp from the top up for y'all. Tell you how I did it. You put the lamp down, you you put the AstroTurf down on the grass, Mm -hmm. like on the grass, on the wood. You glue that on the top. So that's your grassy field. Mm -hmm. Oh, also you need a plastic cow. Yes. Which I also surprisingly found at Michael's. For like two bucks. I walked by because I was not happy with the cow that I had and Mm. I was super bummed. Yeah. And I walked by and I'm like, perfect plastic cow, perfect size, worked great. And I actually went through the checkout line and I had, when I was there, I had that plaque. I had a plastic cow. I had some flat black spray paint and I had some weird adhesives and stuff because I had to go buy some special. You have to use glue that will be able to glue glass to metal and all this stuff. Yeah. So, um. The lady's like, okay, I don't normally ask people what they're working on because I think it's kind of irritating, but this is a weird, this is just weird. Like you have such random things. What are you doing? And is this related? And I told her what I was doing and she's like, that is the fucking most awesome thing 
I've ever heard in my life. It is the most awesome thing. So yes. <clears throat> it's true. You get your little cow. I drilled a little hole, pre-drilled a little hole in the wooden base and put just a little uh, piece of wire up that I had already, I, I burnt a little, like I heated up a little awl and poked a hole in the cow's back hoof. So you glue, now that you're, you have your wire and you have your, your grass down, so you glue your cow, you glue the piece of metal into the cow's foot so he's like on one foot, like it's being sucked up into oh, the beam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you glue the glass down, make sure it's clean. You mm-hmm. don't want to glue a fingerprint up in that bitch. Yeah. You glue the glass down over the top of it. So there's the cow being sucked up into the beam. Now for the top, you glue the two pieces together. And I actually experimented with, experimented with a bunch of adhesives that didn't work. And I ended up using JB Weld okay. to hold it together, which worked excellent. But what I did for the top that someone that they didn't do is I have some two-part uh, acrylic resin. Mm-hmm. So I put um, saran wrap over the top of the drip pan, like my saucer. Mm -hmm. And I poured, I colored some green. I made that two-part clear resin and colored it green. And then I filled the saran wrap so that it would, when it dried, I had this little pink, uh, little uh, green insert that sat on top of it, a clear green insert that sat over the top hole that made it glow green on the top. Awesome. And then you glue your little aliens down so they're looking out of their little observation deck. Mm -hmm. And you glue the top over it like okay. the, you glue the glass bowl uh-huh. over the top of the aliens to the metal saucer that you have now created okay you have a there's a special glue for that and i know i've talked about this on the adhesives episode but if you ever need to find out what the best glue to use go to this to that.com like t-h-i-s-t-o-t-h-a-t and you put in glass on one side, metal on the other, the little drop down menus, and bam, it gives you a list of the best glues in order. Awesome. Of preference. And it also tells you where you can buy them. Awesome. So, yeah. Wow. It works great. Wow. So, I glued that. And then I made out of uh, uh, resin clay, I just made like a little funny antenna and painted it silver and put a green bead on top of it. So, that's how I filled. Because you know how gla- like bowls have a flat, a little flat spot? On the bottom of them. Yeah, yeah. So I covered that with my little antenna that I just made out of air drying clay. Cute. That is how the lamp went together. I am so curious about one thing now. What? Where does the light, how does the light hold in in the cord? Where does the cord okay. go? Okay. So, you know, I talked about getting the extra drip pan. Mm-hmm. So the drip pans have the little cutout on the side. It's like a half rounded rectangle so when you put them in all the electron when you put them in your stove oh, yes. there's that spot where the ship plugs in yeah well when you glue them together you now have an, an elongated hole opening in the uh, back yes but that's why you have the second or the third the extra thing mm-hmm. you trace that twice that shape twice and then you cut that out with tin snips or i have a pair of metal cutters for jewelry making that work mm-hmm. great and then you cut a little hole. You got to sand the hole. Like really, I used, I have a Dremel. So I just kind of smoothed it out with a Dremel and I put some, um, a piece of rubber gasket around it because it, um, Sharp. you don't want it to cut the cord, like cut into the cord. Yeah. Then that makes me electricity. Yeah. And then people be like, bitch, why'd you give me a lamp that electrocutes me? <laughs> you glue those two together. You put just buy a light kit. You can go at any hardware store. You can buy a pre-made light kit mm-hmm. that's just a cord with a bulb at the end. Yes. That's all you want to use. Regular I size? Not, uh, I used a little bit smaller light bulb. You okay. You have to test your light bulbs. And I put an LED light in so it would be brighter. And I thought like that bluer light would be cool mm-hmm. with the, um, the, beam. the beam and stuff. I don't know how to wire. I mean, I could build a cord. Like, I could do it myself. Uh-huh. I could look it up. But I, when, especially when it comes to gifts, I'm a little bit paranoid about wiring things that plug in myself. Yes. Like yes. I'm totally fine doing battery operated LED circuits or anything like that, but I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting electrocuted. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be responsible for anyone's house burning down. 
So just go, and it's, they're cheap. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I bought my kit at uh, Ace Hardware up the street from our house for like six or seven bucks. Mm -hmm. They're super cheap. That's all you need. And so when you put, so you put the cord through, glue it together, and then glue the, glue the pieces together that Mm -hmm. are going to hold this piece. So now you have this uh, flat piece. It gets plugged in and I put little magnets on it. Like I hot glue little magnets on it. So you have the bulb. The cord comes out the back side of that. You screw Mm -hmm. your bulb in. And then you put that through the hole sideways so it all goes in. And then when you pull it out, it's bigger than, it's a little bigger than the opening. So you cut it a little bigger than the opening. And then just magnetizes right in there and stays just right. Wow. I kind of didn't like that. Like I would have really liked to have... um, experimented with that more Mm -hmm. because I wasn't super happy with the way it worked. I thought maybe you could make it hinged or something. Also, I think the top, the two pieces hinging open. Yeah. Or just, you could hinge it to the, the back of the, the space. Oh yeah. Like open it up. Yeah. Yeah. Change the little There are ways that I, I think that it could have been better, but it worked great for what it was. Also, I think that that would have gone together cool with a rivet gun. If you could have just riveted Oh, wow. The thing yeah. Because it kind of would have made it look all super. Oh, yeah, yeah. More industrial. Yes. But, so that is my alien lamp that I made. Oh, my God. We're like already 20 minutes into this episode and I've been talking about the alien lamp the whole time. So cool. And so, okay. So here's another option without the light kit. And you can use light kits in anything. Like mm-hmm. we're going to talk about, um, okay, well, I'll just jump to this really quick. We found instructions on how to make a paper star lantern. Yeah. Lonnie was talking about how she's never felt like she should, could just buy herself one. So <laughs> I think I should make one. I'm going to make one for you because your birthday is coming Aww. up soon, right? In October. Aww. Are you an October birthday or a September, birthday. September birthday? So yeah, that's what's happening. I shouldn't have told her. Oh, oh my God. Now lamps with, for the birthday is turning into a thing for me. <laughs> but we'll put up the instructions. This person on their blog has a template that you can print off on any kind of paper and then you make a cool ass little lamp always just use a light kit yeah light kit and if you get compact fluorescent or compact led lights i like better because they don't get hot yes and that's the thing that you need to consider when you're building a lamp Mm -hmm. or anything is heat so the led lights never get hot so i just prefer to use those open up a whole new world they totally do yeah because you always had to consider oh the light bulb's gonna get hot Gotta be careful. I'll be like, bitch, I don't need to water my Christmas tree. I got LED lights now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was going to paint that shit green. Yep. Keep it that but, way. So the, the <laughs> another option, though, is I bought for my... My mom used to have these all over the house. They're fillable lamps. So they're just... You can get them. You can find them. I got mine on Amazon. You can get them at craft stores. It's just an empty lamp, and the bottom has a wing nut. So you screw the bottom plate off, and you can put all kinds of shit in there. My mom had a bunch with seashells in them that she made when Mm -hmm. we were kids and i got this idea from a lady i can't remember where i saw it but she had put for her son's 18th birthday she had put everything that she'd ever taken out of her son's pockets when she did laundry she'd (laughs) saved and she put it in a lamp for him when he turned 18 cute and i thought that was super sweet and my son just he actually hasn't had his birthday yet well by the time this airs nope he won't have had his birthday his birthday is the last day of august so He's turning 20 and I wanted to give him something special for us. Like, cause it's his second decade. I mean, I think that yeah. your 20th birthday gets overshadowed by your 21st birthday, yes, but it does. But I think that turning 20 is a huge deal. Mm-hmm. I put something, I found something to represent every year of his life, like something that he played with or something that he loved. Some of it, I just went in his room and pilfered through his shit and <laughs> stole his toys that he's, he's like his little tchotchkes and stuff that he saved. Some of them I had to buy. But I filled this lamp with Legos, like tiny Legos, which don't get me fucking started about going to the Lego store, man. That is <laughs> so, the most overwhelming place I've ever been in my life. Yeah. Visually, sound wise. Yeah. And 10 year old little boys think you're <laughs> fucking weird when you walk around singing, everything is awesome. <laughs> Because you watched Lego movie too many times. And I was geeking out like a little kid in there. Mm-hmm. Did you know that they sell a Lego set that's like a Volkswagen bus? Yes, I just saw that. Dude, it is seriously, so cool. it's so expensive. Yeah, it is very, yep. 
Wasn't it like over 100? Yeah. Yeah. Like way over 100. <coughs> yes. I saw that. I fucking like, oh. love Legos yeah. so much. I am an adult lover of Legos. <clears throat> They're cool. But I will say, as I filled the lamp with Legos, I still have stray Legos in this fucking room. And now I feel bad for getting as mad as my at my son as I did when he was a little boy, when I tell him to clean up his Legos, and then I would step on those fucking little spiky mm-hmm. bits of death for your foot. Because I vacuumed, I looked, I touched, I ran my seat. There's a Lego right there by the fucking paper bag. They just come out of nowhere. Weird. Fucking Legos. Anyway, I filled this lamp with Legos and then like a little, like, kind of tried to slide it down to the outside. Little toys and and memorabilia and stuff to represent every each year of his first 20 years. And I also made some little, uh, those little teeny tiny origami books that I fold. And I like drew like I drew the Deathly Hallow symbol for Harry Potter, and I drew the Wheel of Time symbol because he was really into the Wheel of Time series, and I drew the Tolkien symbol for Lord of the Rings, and like cool. and I just put some little books in there, like books that were a big deal to him and to us too, because we read we started reading him Harry Potter when he was five. Aww. So he really liked it. It was really cool, and I painted the lampshade like I I I did something for the lampshade so with like pretty. Mount Hood because he's a huge snowboarder. I'm sorry. I do not know what fucking bird just flew past my window outside because the yeah. blinds are closed, but it was huge, whatever it was. Did oh you my see my God. eyes? Yeah. Like, I was like, whoa, we're being attacked. Like, <laughs> I don't know where it went, but it was giant. I have a giant bird outside my oh window. Oh, my God. I saw a little drone on my way here over, uh, I was on the Fremont oh. Bridge. And there's this little drone, like, flying right alongside it. I was like, whoa. Um, that was the first time I've seen one of those. Sidebar. Yeah. Drones in relation to an earlier topic. Yeah. Don't fly your fucking drones into forest fires, you dumb fuckers out there. They can't fly the helicopters to drop water or to drop firefighters when you're flying your drones into fire areas. They've been having trouble with that in Washington. What? Because people are flying drones into that Fuck shit. The and drones they, and just drop the water anyway. Like, Well, why? they don't want the drone to get all sucked up into the fucking helicopter or shit. And make oh, the helicopter crash. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's bad. Don't do that, people. Yeah, what the people heck? I didn't know that was a thing. Stupid. People are so dumb. Weird. But anyway, so fillable <laughs> lamps. You can put anything in there. I've seen it with marbles, which yeah. is a really cool looking, although it makes a very heavy lamp. Yes. Um, I've seen them with all kinds of, like I said, seashells. Like, I like that idea. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. You can put anything in there. Glitter. Oh! <gasps> I want a lamp filled with glitter. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. It would be. That's a lot of glitter. Well, you could just like spray you put something it, in the like, middle. Use Mod Podge oh, on it yeah. and then like roll it. Yeah, right. Ooh, I'm pretty. gonna buy some. Pretty. <gasps> I'm gonna buy two, and I'm gonna make new bedside lamps for us because we need new bedside pretty. lamps. That'll be awesome. Ooh, and when the lights on, it'll be like bling. yeah. We'll add a little mood to the room. Yeah. A little burlesque feeling. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to open another Zot quietly. Sparkles. Sparkles are red. <laughs> I'm taking this out. It's making my boob itch. Oh, yeah. Pokey Zot wrappers. So, we've talked about some electric lighting options. And the, Okay. As far as the lamp kits go, like, or the light kits go, Lonnie was looking up stuff about, uh, and you see it all over the internet, like wine bottles that are turned into lamps or yeah mason jars or some pipe yeah like metal pipe mm. um so the light kits i have a light kit question sorry um mm-hmm. you can get them like night light size too mm-hmm. right so you can get regular bulb size or like mm-hmm. the little so if you want to do like a wine or something mm-hmm. little do little ones and you can get those super bright little led lights light bulbs that fit into the nightlight size ones. Oh. Mm-hmm. I need to look at for those because that's cool. Home Depot. Okay. Cool. And you can also build, they, they have do-it-yourself like little kits mm-hmm. that come with the um, the little socket that you screw together and the little thingy that you put on there and you can make the cord a custom length or whatever. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. But even that, they're so close in price, honestly. Mm-hmm. Unless you need like an absurdly long cord, yeah, I just don't even bother. Like, cause they're they're really almost the same price. Yeah. So, um, and I'll put some links up 
to like hits on the blog for this episode. That was a gross sound that I'm cutting out. <laughs> I still have like smoky boogers, like I fire know, bugs. I, yeah, I'm sorry, people. I have fire I keep, boogers. I keep wanting to cough and stuff. I haven't, I haven't felt like this since I smoked. I know, right? It's a weird feeling. It is a weird feeling. Yeah. And they have some really cool glass, like wine bottle stuff. Um, at home you have people? to have a sp- no wine oh. bottle like online. You can okay. find really cool tutorials. Yeah, you just have to buy a special I like the drill mason bit. Mason jar ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and any instructions that you find will tell you what drill bit to use and how to drill a hole in the glass. And I found a really neat tutorial about how to cut the top off of wine bottles. So you take a a cotton piece of string, mm-hmm. like the kind that you would tie turkeys' legs together. Uh When you cook turkeys to hold all the stuff you shoved up their turkey neck hole, (laughs) you tie that around the wine bottle Uh and you soak it in nail polish remover. It was acetone, Mm -hmm. whatever. And then you light that string on fire and it burns just in that circle. And then you put it under cold water and it supposedly just dink. I've seen it. I've never tried it. I've I've never tried it. I've seen it done in video. So yeah. It freaks me out a little bit. I'm pretty sure that it, it is. I think that you would probably have to, again, sand it. Yes. To make sure that it's not sharp. Yeah. Uh, I have a Dremel tool, so that's pretty easy. Dremels are cheap. Yeah. These days, so. What tip do you use for that? I just use a heavy sanding one. I'd usually just experiment around. I'm sure they make them. They're for glass. Glass but... polishing or something. Or... Yeah. Yeah. What's the drill bit? What kind of drill bit? Um, you know what? I don't actually know what it's called, but is it like diamond or something? Yeah, diamond or whatever. Or you you can buy them all. Sometimes I've seen it has to be wet. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, sometimes they do them wet. I don't think that's necessary though when you're just drilling a single hole in like in a bottle. bottle. Cool. It's not that big of a deal. And I'll put up some seriously. People, Instructables has instructions for all this kind mm-hmm. of stuff. From, whoa, I'm getting a text from Ding. who? What? It's Sharon. Aw, Sharon. You know what I just realized? This is so weird. Sharon is like the Kevin Bacon of two artsy gals. <laughs> and if you knew how much she loved Kevin Bacon, you would know how excited that would make her. I know Lonnie technically kind of because of Sharon, but not really. So I met Lonnie through Sharon's sister-in-law. Yes. Basically. I So, I actually kind of know Sharon because, well, anyway. It's like that thing, what's that thing where they say, like, how many degrees you're separated from? Yes. Kev, from Kevin what's Bacon. that called? Six degrees of separation. Mm-hmm. Or something. Yeah. So, you would be like two or one, two. I don't know. Also, our first guest, Anne, my tattoo artist, also has tattooed Sharon. Before Sharon and I ever knew each other. Wow. We didn't know that we were sharing the same tattoo artist, but she's done tattoos on Sharon. <laughs> and also, we recorded last week with my friend Elisade, who will be our guest on our next episode. I know her because I met our mutual friend. She and I have a mutual friend named Casey, and I met Casey through Sharon. Wow. How fucking weird is that? <laughs> And then she just texted you. And she just texted me. I don't know what she's... She's texting me about. I'll read it later. <laughs> but, but anyway, tutorials. Yes, I'm going to have tutorials up. And so, honey, I want you to talk a little bit about all the fucking cool light shit that you found oh, when yeah. you were doing research. I just decided to Google DIY lamp. And there's so many different things and there's, I realized I've looked at a lot of those because I'm fascinated by lighting and I love, yeah. You like shiny things. I like shiny I like things. Shiny thing. yeah. Lighting is fucking awesome. It's really awesome. And there's one that I was really considering giving a try, which was they cut out strips of, I think they did it with fabric is the one I saw, like in mm-hmm. triangles mm-hmm. and put, attach them to this hoop thing. I don't know. It looked, it looks cool. Or the, um, crocheted. Like doilies attached mm-hmm. together, and then I think you just glue them to a ball and let it dry, and then you deflate the ball, and then you have this cool 
freaking crocheted lamp mm-hmm. <laughs> that um the crunchy zots i'm sorry <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> um and yeah there was some made out of pipe like plumbing pipe mm-hmm. that made so let's cool go back to the doily thing. thing really quick it's neat the light shining through it looks so cool it does and and i was saying to lonnie when i saw that i have this thing about colored light bulbs mm-hmm and it would look really cool with colored light bulbs in it. That's another thing, though, that you just buy the fucking light kit for. Yeah. That's all. You just buy yeah. the light kit, and then you make this badass shade for it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So. Out of. Kind of simple. Yeah. Really? And you're just using, like, literally, you're just, that's probably, like, fucking Elmer, like, school glue. Yeah. Maybe even a little watered down Watered down school glue. glue is usually what and they And then use. you put it around mm-hmm. a big balloon or whatever. Let it dry. Yes. So this lady used beach balls because they were nice and round. Mm-hmm. And then you can just stab them. Just stab and, it. Yeah. Deflate it. You can get Which beach balls. Which would be kind of rewarding in itself. Yeah. Just being able to destroy And you can buy ball. that shit at the dollar store. Like, you don't have to feel bad yeah. about destroying Like, look. You see my... Actually, that's not a dollar store one. No. That's just that's like, cool I've got a Death, Death Star, Star yeah. beach ball. Did you know that lights up? No. See... Really? Watch this. I'm going to walk over there okay. and do it. I'll put a little movie of it up. Oh. Okay. So is it battery <laughs> operated? It has a little LED guy in there. You just go, I'll just go. See it? Oh my gosh. That's, wow. Yeah. Where the heck did you find that? I got that in the impulse aisle at Safeway when we were shopping for camping shit. Wow. Because we couldn't do fireworks for the 4th of July because it's so dry. Yes. And so my husband felt bad for me and he bought me a Death Star beach ball that lights up. Oh, it's really rad. Because it made me feel better. Yeah. It's really rad. Because you know. I also just realized I have the coolest lamp that I bought in Mexico, but the guy taught me how to do it. What? And <laughs> I can't. You have to soak them in water. So you know the fucking blowfish that you always buy? Dried yes. blowfish? Yes, yes, yes. I have a blowfish. Blowfish? I have a blowfish I saw lamp. those down there and I was like, oh. Dude, I have one with a green light bulb in it in the middle. And it, it, those, it's right- like, they're it, hanging right over there. Oh, my God. What he does is... He just fucking manhandles them, but those are fucking sharp. Like, blowfish ain't no fucking joke. No. They're pokey. They will cut you. And they will fucking make you bleed, (laughs) and then they'll make you cry a little bit, and they will definitely piss off your dog. (laughs) He said just soak it in a little bit of water, because it softens. Uh I can't imagine it smells great. No. But just soften it just a little bit in water, and then you can slit it open enough to drop the light kit the the cord down inside of it and wow. you just put the whole bulb in there and then it just hangs by that because once it's dry again it's hard it's stiff it holds the light inside right? Wait, how I know. how do they stay puffed when you oh they you, um, shove something in there they to... put a balloon in them <laughs> as they dry them Wow. I asked him. I'm like, how do you do that? Like, Yeah, because it seems like it'd be all... Yeah, it'd be, no, all it'd be like a dead blowfish. Yeah. It's kind of... Gross. It's like a flat thing. Yeah. No, Slightly. they, like, just save the skin, and then they put the skin around a big balloon. Wow. And then they dry like that. That's amazing. Right? <laughs> blowfish. Yeah. They're cool. I like my blowfish lamps. Yeah. Are those the lamps over there, or is that... Mm-hmm. Just... The middle one's the lamp. The other two are just hanging there. Wow. Because I have not been brave enough to try... To touch and them. <laughs> open them up because they made me bleed. Yeah. They're pokey. They're oh very my God. pokey. That's really cool. Are. I also have... Because I think probably this winter, maybe I'll do this for, for the episode. We're going to do an episode on using a pop can tabs, pop and beer can tabs. Uh-huh. Mostly because I have a metric fuck ton a pop can tab. Wow, so you keep them. Well, no. See, I tried to do this project where you crocheted. I crocheted these crazy bracelets. But they were yeah. super scratchy and yucky feeling. And and the 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 metallic thread that I used was so expensive that I couldn't justify selling those bracelets for as much as it would take to recoup the money that I spent on them. Yeah. Because yeah. they're fucking pop can tabs. Like, yeah. Maybe they charge $30 for a pop can tab thing <laughs> because it's pop can tabs. Come yeah. on, people. No one's going to pay that for it. So, but my mom, my mom told her friend who saved those 
because he used to give them to the school for the, I think collected them for dialysis. Oh, okay. I don't understand how or why, but <laughs> it was a thing for a while, but the school stopped doing that. So he had this surplus. I had like probably six gallon bags, like Ziploc bags full. Whoa. But I want to make a lampshade for our downstairs ugly ceiling lamp above our dining room table. Yeah. But I feel like that's also something that you could do with a light kit. To make like a little chandelier out of stuff like that. I have yes. beads. I bought glass beads that I was going to string in the little openings and stuff. Um, also, we saw a really fucking cool one. It was beautiful. I love D. I, I, I love repurposing shit. Mm-hmm. So these people just took a two liter bottle. Yes. And cut the bottom of the two liter bottle off. And then they glued the spoon part of plastic spoons starting at the bottom and working their way around so you glue each layer on top kind of overlaps a little bit mm-hmm. it looked so fucking cool when it was yeah lit up. yeah how easy is that yeah and like you know if you're somewhere you know i'm not saying to go buy like plastic spoons or anywhere the dollar store has them for cheap but i'm not mm-hmm. saying to do that but even if you're like at a party or something you're you could just collect the plastic spoons from people yeah like and take them and use them like Recycle them. Don't throw them in the trash or don't throw them in recycling. Just make something awesome out of them. That's what I keep... I need to figure out something awesome to make out of clear plastic knives because we bought the Costco box of freaking uh, plastic utensils. Yeah. And there's like four packs of knives left. No one uses the knives. Like all the forks and spoons are gone. But I'm like, oh, I got to figure out what to do with these. There's got to be something. You can use them for like crafty things, for stirring stuff. Yeah. Luckily, finally, my... that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like tell them, I'm always telling my kid use those. <laughs> yeah, but you could also those. you could make a lamp out of those. I bet there's like, a we way. Could figure it out. Yeah, maybe just like dangling, dangling them, them or glue them around something. Yeah, you could color them with like sharpie and make them different colors. Yeah, I'm sure glitter could come into play somewhere. I bet it could. Glitter, paint, glittery or... them make them all glitterized yes now i'm the wheels are turning okay i need your help but with these <laughs> i feel like we're meandering something. i'm sorry listeners we're i know just, i'm like, sorry we're just like winging it because we're just officially going to declare august fuck all month yeah like i feel like we've not had some solid episodes and i hope <laughs> that our new listeners aren't listening to us like uh, so these guys suck. You should go back and listen to old episodes too. Cause <laughs> yeah. you're like, and have you noticed when we are not, when we don't have a script, how much longer our shows run? Is it? Yeah. Cause like we're on like 45 minutes. Whoa. Almost. So <laughs> the point being is that you can take, like use your imagination. Mm-hmm. You can make anything into a lamp. And we were going to get into like candle lit oh, lanterns yeah. and stuff too, oh, but yeah. we've kind of gotten sidetracked and, had too many sidebars, but like you can make like paper lanterns. I I don't well, like paper bags. You know, like you fill the little paper bags mm-hmm. full of sand and put a candle in them or whatever and stick them out. But maybe we'll talk about about that in um, October for like a more of a Halloweeny yeah thing. But but definitely also you can get light kits and just go buy those. Like you know the big. The Chinese lanterns that you get at the party supply stores or yes. the dollar stores, you pop them open. Um, I've seen some cool shit done with those. Oh, my God. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put the tutorial up uh, because I'm going to make one for myself in practice, and then I think I'm going to make one for my niece. So you can order strings of, like, you know the LED lights that, like, people hang at Christmas time that look like the icicle lights? Mm-hmm. You can get those that, like, flash. Uh-huh. You go buy white Chinese paper lanterns in, like, different sizes, and then you glue batting around them and you glue them together so it makes like this big crazy cloud. Ooh. And then you drop those lights through because they have a hole at the top and the bottom. Uh-huh. So you drop those lights and you have to make like the like in in the tutorial they hung it, but I think I would rather mount it to a piece of wood or something that you hang on the wall. Uh-huh. Um they run those lights drop the lights down through it so when the lights are plugged in and they're flashing it looks like rain and thunder clouds and it is the coolest fucking thing ever it's rad and i'm gonna make one of those for my studio in practice because i think i want to make one for my niece for her birthday that is rad for our our youngest niece for her bedroom it would be rad 
I love that idea. I feel like we just have this conversation about shit that we saw on the internet. Is that bad? No. <laughs> I don't think so. We've actually done it. I just want to inspire people to try to make lights out of yeah. everything. Like, yeah. We used to go to the country fair every year and like our uh, the Oregon country fair is like kind of a big deal around here if you're <laughs> not from Oregon. It's like a, the big like hippie festival. Like the Grateful Dead played once in like 1972 or something <laughs> like that. But every year my, my husband's grandpa called it the booby fair because there's a lot of the topless young women. Yep. I got my first titty sunburn at the country fair when I was 19. Oh. Bad news. Had to go to the emergency room. Oh. Boobies don't like the sunshine, mm-hmm. especially when you're as white as I am. Oh, man. They were sad. Ouch. They were very sad about yeah. the world. But we used to buy, there's someone that does, uh, I can't remember what kind of a welder it is that like cuts into, like it'll cut designs into metal. Okay. Some kind I can't of, think of what it is. A torch. torch. Some kind of torch. Yeah. Anyway, somebody used, made coffee can lanterns with the candles in them. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we it was made those always at camp. the big same booth mm-hmm. there every year. It was probably still there, but we bought one of those every year. That was like our thing that we bought a new one and we had this whole collection of them. Awesome. But it's just a coffee can with cool shapes cut out of it uh-huh. and a candle stuck in it. Yeah. But it looks fucking awesome. It does. We made those at outdoor school with like a nail and a hammer and just doing, oh, yeah. yeah, just, um, making patterns with little holes and it looks like stars when you light it up from the inside. And we did that with a black a lampshade once I did that. You poke holes like with, Oh yeah. Uh, you, you make a design and then when it's lit up from the inside, it's like all magical. I thought cool. about doing that with our bedroom curtain. I have like a blackout curtain that's black and I accidentally poked a hole in it. So it's got this cool little, oh. and I'm like, Oh, but then it wouldn't be a blackout curtain anymore. But it, wouldn't anymore, blackout curtain. But it, it would, would defeat cool. the purpose of blacking outing. Blacking cool. outing. <laughs> I told you I'm not braining well today. I'm <laughs> braining. You can make anything into a lamp. Yes. And you can add a little personality to your surroundings. Yep. You can have cool special lighting for like a party. Yeah. Or just, I don't know. I am all about lighting all the time. Yeah. Like, I'm not one of these people that just wants the fancy white twinkly lights for Christmas or for yeah. parties. I think that my whole world should look like a magical fairyland all the time. Oh, my gosh. Me, too. Really? I'm so glad you just uh, said that. Like, I'm saving money for, like, these crazy lights that they they have, like, different colored stars and they twinkle. And they do Because I want this room to be filled. Like, I love sparkly twinkly lights and fun cool lamps all the time yes like i think i saw somewhere someone did a ceiling with fabric and lights underneath like you know just white oh fuck it was so beautiful it should be magic all the time yeah yeah then we're talking about how to make your world more magic people yeah you should that is art that's what we want to do that's what this whole that's the whole purpose of this show yep is to make your world more magical because you can why not why the no one says there's no rules. There is no rule that no. says that you have to be boring and plain nope. and not have any magic in your world. Yeah. Do it up, people. Hell yeah. You see a cool bottle, you're like, that's a cool bottle. Make a fucking lamp out of that I'm bitch. I'm going to light that shit up. Light it up. Yeah. Make it glow. Yep. <laughs> people know, whoa, this is a magical person who <laughs> thinks of magical things all the time. Yep. You can do it. Yes. So, uh... In non-magical events. <laughs> um, I think dun, dun, dun. next week we're going to skip an episode. It's Labor Day weekend. Oh, okay. It's holiday. It's a holiday weekend. We have a lot going on here at Two RC Gals. So there's not going to be an episode next week. We want you all to go out and have a good time. Don't set any fucking forest fires. Please. So please don't set any forest fires. Yeah. Uh, send us some rain vibes over here in the Pacific Uh Northwest because like Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and California are basically just on fucking fire right now. Yeah. Northern California. Yeah. Like we need some fucking rain. Yeah. (laughs) Like people's homes are being destroyed in British Columbia too. Like, like Vancouver, Canada. Like this is so weird for our coastline. It's really weird. It is so weird for us. It's just terrible. We're so dry and yeah. And we're not at the worst of it. So send us some good rain juju. Uh, have a safe holiday weekend next weekend. Yay! Go do your camping or whatever it is that you got to do. Wait, is it next? Yeah, it's next weekend. Not I have not weekend. been to the beach yet this summer. I gotta what? get. I gotta get over there, dude. I know. 
Why don't you go down with me sometime to my, see my mommy? We should okay. do that. You yes. should come with me one of these days. Um, the following week, we're going to be back with a really awesome episode. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, my, our, my friend Ellis Aid was here and recorded mm-hmm. with us, and she is the book roadie. So and awesome. we had so much fun. It, yes. It's going to be a, an awesome episode. Yeah. We totally cool. geeked out about books and, like, journals and, and talked about her business and just basically had a shit ton of fun. Like, we yeah. talked for an hour after we turned off the recording I know, equipment. that was so rad. We were just, like, set up here jibber-jabbering and talking about all kinds of stuff. She's really great. She's yeah. a super special person. And... I think you guys are going to really enjoy listening to her. And, yes. and I love talking to people who are so passionate about the things that they do. Yes. Because it's just exciting to me that people that have that much passion yes. about something. So that's going to be a great episode. So next weekend, remember next Thursday, no episode. Thursday after LSAID, the LSAID interview is going to happen. And it's going to be fucking awesome. Yay. You guys are going to LSAID. love it so hard. <laughs> um... So if you have any cool stories about lamps that you've made or pictures of lamps that you've made yeah, sure. or ideas or some funny fails, like yes. stories about, oops, shouldn't have done that. Or oops, <laughs> I caught my grandma's house on fire this one time or something <laughs> like that. We also want to hear those. We'll tell them on the show. Yes. So you can, um, you can email those stories to us at two artsy gals at gmail.com. You can leave them on our voicemail, which yes, is five zero three. Three, four, oh shoot. Er, back that up. She's trying to read my hand. Okay. Five zero three three nine five seven one nine zero. That is our voicemail and you can call and leave us a message. I've been told that our message is long winded, but I'm long winded. Can't you hit so, pound to skip it? Yeah, I think you can. The <laughs> only thing I just say on there that, that is that if you don't want your voice on the show, you need to say, don't use my voice on the show. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm totally using your voice on the show. Yeah, because that's fun. Because it's awesome. Yeah. Hello. We played a call from Lois last week, and it was rad. Yes. So, also, go to our blog, and I will have some really awesome instructable tutorials and stuff for the alien lamp Yay. that I made. And also for some other, some of our favorites that we found, some, like, cool lamps that we saw. And I'll probably put some links up of where you can, like, just so you know what I'm talking about when I when I talk about light kits. So, they're easy, though. Um, you can go visit our website at twoartsygals.com. Check it out. Do it. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Follow us on all the social medias, yo. We are almost done with our oh, giveaway. Oh, my shit. I am yeah. hoping that the next episode that we record, we will be talking about our cool-ass piece I... of art. Yes. It's yep. Like it's coming together. Mixed media fiber art. Lonnie is adding her parts. I have a couple things I need to finish up when I get it back, but <laughs> just know that it involves miniature PBR cans that <laughs> Lonnie made, and I am dying. It they're is so fun. So awesome. Did you glue them or sew them down? I sewed them down. Oh my god, they're so <laughs> rad. They are the best thing ever. You guys will just die. It's too fun of coolness. Sasquatches PBR. Yeah, I mean a, Airstream campers. A beautiful shiny trailer. Yeah. Yep. We've got some shit going on. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I love you it. You guys are going to fucking love it. Yeah. I kind of think that we should make some for ourselves now. I know. Right? I know. If I can... Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, so we'll have more <laughs> news on that, and then we're going to amp up the giveaway shit, because, you know, I think we're up to 134, 135 people now. Yeah, we're so getting there. We're getting there slowly, but we yep. want to be to 200 before we do the giveaway. Yeah. And that's the way it's going to be. Tell people about us, guys. Yeah. Share about us. Say, hey, listen to these crazy bitches. <laughs> Do it. They're crazy. And um, <laughs> you can follow us on, or you can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Stitcher and leave us some good feedback because we need it. No, because it will make, we'll make people want to listen to us more. Yeah. They'll fall, they'll, they'll like fall for peer pressure and be like, oh, this person says we should listen. Yeah. So we better. Uh, no episode next week. Don't forget. So make some extra cool shit yeah. next week and then come back and tell us about it. And then uh, the week after next, LS8 is going to rock our fucking world. Yay! So until next time, go make some cool shit, yo! Do it now.